All right, so let, let's let's real quick update where we are here, okay? Uh, the Eagles have traded up to number 40 with the Commanders. Big jump. And with the Commanders, interesting there. That's in division, yes. in division trade. So what just went in front of the Eagles was two def- defensive tackles. Devondre Sweat. Yep, so uh, goes a the, run on defensive tackle. Yeah, he goes to the Titans, and then Brandon uh, uh, Braden Fisk, the, the defensive tackle out of Florida State. So right now the Eagles are sitting on the clock at 40 with – a lot, of, a lot pe- of good players available. Now, I'm looking at the defensive tackles available. Mason Smith out of LSU. Chris Jenkins out of Michigan. Chris Jenkins more of a run-stopping yep. defensive tackle. Mason Smith, ultra-athletic guy. I think I believe a little still raw uh, in, in his game. Overall, looking at the big board, there is Cooper DeGene still. Now, if they were to take him, I think that would be viewed as a safety and not as much as a, as a corner. I just don't think there's room for him anymore unless you think that he's going to be able to play nickel. So, Maybe Cooper DeGene is someone they would move up for. Again, the, the linebackers still on the board. Can you imagine if they took these two defensive backs? <laughs> uh, it would not be the bad week of Bradbury and uh, and Slay for Slay would continue. Yes. Um, All right. So let's not bury this. So the Eagles have moved up from fifty to forty. They trade it with the Commander. So they're on the clock right now. Actually, the pick's in. Here we but, go. So we're gonna we're gonna find out what they end up doing. But you knew how he couldn't sit still. Nope. I went, has it said what it took to get up there? I mean, I would think you're looking at probably not both second round picks, but yeah, that's a pretty significant move. That, I mean, that's a big time jump. I mean, they don't have a third round pick, so they don't. All right, I mean, <laughs> Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene. Whoa, unbelievable. Man. Whoa. So, yeah, <laughs> I I like Cooper DeGene. I do. I, look, here's what you get with him, Iowa. He is a guy who has the versatility to play both corner and safety. He's an incredible return man. Got hurt in the last game of the season, and for a lot of people's you know bank, it's the only reason he lasted until the second round. Yeah, but Elliot, two two defensive backs, first two picks in the twenty twenty four draft. I mean, they're remaking the secondary. So looking at at Cooper, how I think they could use him. What and we were talking about him earlier. Here's what I like and don't like about Cooper Dejean. On one hand, I like that he first of all he's a great athlete. He is someone, he's a hard hitter, he's a great tackler, he's dangerous with the ball in his hands. When he makes plays, like when he intercepts passes, he returns them for touchdowns. Yes. Uh, what I don't like about this pick, what is he great at? Where are they going to put him? So maybe, you know, as, is, he, is he only an outside corner? Do they view him as being maybe a Chauncey Gardner-Johnson type of player where they're moving him all around? Is he going to play nickel? Um, I so, think he's your nickel corner. There's... But a nickel corner at forty, I I don't know. I I mean maybe that's what but, I. Think. Well, that's not that's a what you're saying. That's not value. I don't think a nickel corner at forty is great value. I think look if he's playing every snap, I guess With it is basically a starter. Stu- yeah, stuff that's a good that you point. Know. In today's NFL, you're yeah. right. That's basically a starter. So we'll see what they gave up. I don't know if that is. You want to get a little yet. draft profile of him? Yeah, let's do it. Cooper DeJean, defensive back. Iowa. Second down 10. They're going to come back there. You can bet on it. Now they go to the underneath man and Cooper picks it off. Cooper, DeGene, heading for Pater. Has one man to beat. Down inside the five at the four yard line. A consensus All-American Cooper DeGene is an elite athlete and a versatile defender. He's an instinctive player that always seems to be one step ahead of the offense. DeGene has the ability to play either man or zone and is also an asset in run defense. Scouts are divided on his best fit, but he has the physical tools to contribute in the NFL as a safety on the outside or as a nickel corner. All right, so let me hit you with this, Elliot. According to Benjamin Solak, who is a staff writer for The Ringer, yep. I think does a very good job, he's reporting that the Packers at 41 were in love with DeGene. So they wanted to, to and jump And the Eagles around. read the room and yep. got up and, and got in front of them, which is very Howie-esque. Yeah, for I sure. mean, well, one thing Howie's very good at is collecting information, knowing what other teams are going to do. And again, we were talking about this earlier. Obviously, talent evaluation is a key part of the draft, but as is knowing how to get your guy what it will cost and making the most of that value. So through the first two picks, they go Quinion, they go Cooper. Ironically, my least two favorite of the corners, but we can get into that another Saints day. Saints just traded up to 41. This thing's getting wild. A run on corners. Let's yeah. get crazy. Has Let's it come weird. out what they traded yet? So, no, I, I don't see anything official yet on what they ended up If they up. traded 50 and 53, I don't think I like this move. That's a lot to give up. I can't imagine they didn't give up 53 to, maybe to, a future to jump pick. 10 spots. Yeah, but maybe a future pick in another draft or the fourth-round pick. Or... I would assume one of those fifth-rounders is thrown in there just for, for kicks because yeah. you had a lot of fifth-rounders. So they did bring Cooper DeGene into Philadelphia for a, dra- for, for a pre-draft visit. 
they have now, I think like their last four or five first and second round picks have come to Philadelphia for a visit. It's something they really, really value. So Cooper DeGene, as I was saying, great size, great athlete, and a legit stud athlete. Like yeah. strong, if, can still move. If he you ran have a great time, 40. Sorry to interrupt you. No, go for w- it. Watch his basketball highlights yeah, in high 100%. school. Like he's yep. he's dunking over like bigs. Yeah. Like, like he's he can leap. So he can move. Uh played inside, played outside. Now the, the key question with him again is are they going to use him as a Swiss Army knife type, or do they project him at one spot? So here we go. The Eagles traded 50 and 53 and their fifth round in their fifth round pick for what was it, 40, and then their fourth round pick. Okay, so they get a fourth back. I'm sorry, a third round pick. I misspoke. So they get a third now. They get a third. So, so they, they so, so they're not done tonight. So they will have another pick tonight. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. 78. So you fit that makes sense. So 53 is the enticer, and then you throw one of those. Fifth rounders in yep. there, okay, whatever. Yeah, but you still get a third rounder back. Yes, so okay. you move up ten spots. I like. I think that's good value. Here comes Brandon Graham announcing the pick. Uh, BG's look, looking good. Yeah, got the green on. Is that leather? What is that? It looks like it's sparkling. Something shiny. Like, so you, you could pull that off. I could. Oh, of course. I mean, it's not that much from what I, different from what I wore on my wedding day. Of course. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, fifty. So they go. They gave up fifty, fifty three, one sixty one. Okay, to yep. get to forty. But they also get 78 back. Yeah, I, I think that's a fine trade. Yeah. I don't think that's an overpay at all. And while my opinion on Cooper DeGene is what it is, I will always respect how he's going up for his guy. If you think in a draft where there's not a lot of special players, Cooper DeGene, who, by the way, going into the draft, p- teams at least seemed extremely intrigued by me. He fell out of the first round, so obviously that was a bit of smoke there. But this cornerback position now is going to be the one to watch in training camp. As of now, on the roster... Darius Slate, James Bradbury, Avante Maddox, Quinion Mitchell, Cooper DeGene, Kelly, uh, Keely Ringo, Eli Ricks, Tyler Hall, Isaiah Rogers. That's nine right there. And those are just corners. We're not even I – mean, maybe Cooper ends up being a safety. Yeah. But you're probably only keeping five. I well, mean, there's half those guys. Uh, M- Makai Gardner. Corner. Some people are going bye-bye. Yeah. I, and I, I think it's probably Bradbury. Yep. Now uh, the question is Slay. Oof. Is so, there another trade coming? So Slay to me would be – I think you have to take him – you have to go into training camp with Slay mm-hmm. and see how these young guys play. Cooper DeGene on the screen right now. Let me give you a little little yeah. bit on there. Uh, six foot and – about six foot and a half-ish or a quarter inch, uh, half inch. 212 pounds, runs a 4'4", 240, 38 and a half vertical, which is good. Uh, very impressive numbers, actually, both of those. Posted 12 interceptions and 20 yep. pass breaks ups in two years as a starter at Iowa. That's a lot Yeah, in two years. Yep. So – And again, to him being dangerous with the ball in his hands, he took snaps on offense last year. Yeah. Like they tried to get the ball in his hand. You could see it here punt returner, kick returner. returner. You know, hopefully he advances to the stage where you're not having him do that in his career. Yeah. But he right away could be be a real impact uh, player for them. I like this pick. Yeah. The more I react to it, I. I think this was a smart pick at 40. I'm happy with both picks, honestly, man. It's it's out of the box. It continues to be out of the box. We're, we're as Elliot and I are watching the reaction. He's, you know, doing the usual mob by the family thing yep. and all that kind of stuff. And we saw the Eagles' war room, how excited they are. But NFL comparison: Malcolm Jenkins, according to NFL Network. Okay, <laughs> and 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 I can see it now. Malcolm Malcolm again, played corner in Malcolm college. Malcolm started his career, I believe, yeah. with the Saints on the outside. He did. And that's what that's the positive of Cooper DeGene. Again, when there was talks of trading up to take him at twelve, that's different. Mm-hmm. But in the second round, he is somebody that Vic Fangio can get creative with. One thing, a lot of things they didn't have on the defense, but one thing they definitely didn't have last year on the defense was guys that Sean Desai could get creative with. They've now added Cooper DeGene, who can do a bunch of different things, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, who can do a bunch of different things. Pre snap, offenses are going to have to have more to deal with in figuring out okay, CJ, GJ, and Cooper DeGene are on the field. What are they doing? Are they lining up uh, as as the corner there? Are they being an in-the-box linebacker type of role? Are they playing a single high safety? Are they going to back up and both be the safeties if Avante Maddox is on the field? Avante Maddox is someone that's moved all around. So what you're seeing with what they're doing, I think Quinion's just going to play the outside. But what they're doing is adding a bunch of different pieces that Vic Fangio can get creative with. All right, let me give you the last two years where he really took over as a starter, okay? Uh, 2022, second team, all Big Ten Tied for the FBS lead with three interceptions, returned for touchdowns. That's just in 22. Okay, um, he, he had a good pro, he had a good uh, bowl game for them. Started all 13 games, 75 tackles, three tackles for losses, five picks. Go to 23, which was last year. First team Associated Press All American, 
uh, Big Ten Defensive Back of the Year, Return Specialist of the Year, First Team All Big Ten Conference, finalist for the Jim Thorpe Award, uh, Bronco Nagurski Award for the top defender. This guy's got some pretty good yeah. resume here. Started 10 games. He got hurt at the very end, missed the end of the year with a broken fibula. Uh, Lance Zierlin's breakdown here on NFL.com. Highly competitive defensive back, plus ball skills, noteworthy special teams value, is a big and bu- big and bundled for a corner, muscular arms, tight hips, has fantastic interception production, but his movements uh, tend to be linear, more linear than fluid. Doesn't have the easy change of direction in man coverage. His best football is played with his eyes forward, using his instincts to challenge quarterbacks, and his big downhill burst to smack whatever needs smacking. <laughs> his words. Uh, he would seem to be a no-brainer as a punt returner and gunner in year one. Uh, DeGene should be a big athletic tester, which will help get the hype train going, but finding the proper scheme will be important in unlocking his best football as a zone corner or interchangeable safety. They like that part of it. Strengths, he can play either. He's explosive, instinctive, tracks passes well, ball skills as a receiver, charges hard, slams into pass catchers, can provide immediate help. Weaknesses, tight hips, uh, struggles to open hips, and a lot of hip, uh, to find sudden acceleration against pass release, fails to turn and find the football when traveling in deep routes, Played a series of bad offenses, which challenged him. Uh Uh-oh, him and Quinion can talk about that. Below average length, which allows some slippage as a wrap-up tackler. Sources tell us, quote, he's quiet and humble. He will always, he he was always at his best, he was always the best in high school and has that baked-in confidence that you can't coach, according to an AFC scout. So this guy does not play scared. So, and I think off last year's secondary, that that's a step in the right direction. Yes. Two things. A positive. Uh, I'll start with a positive. Yeah. As a tackler, and he just mentioned there, this team struggled at tackling at corner. Between Quinion Mitchell and uh, Cooper DeJean, they become a better tackling secondary. Yep. Again, Chauncey, not a great tackler, but but uh, Cooper and, and Quinion are great tacklers. Mm-hmm. When you when you were saying in there about, about his, his muscles, to me – I don't think he looks like a corner just because he is so strong. Yeah. Like he he's much he looks like a safety. He's much thicker than a lot of corners that we've seen play for the Eagles and frankly a lot of the corners that were also available. By the way, another corner taken uh so the, the run on corners how he read that correctly in terms of going up to do that. He got to Gene and then the Saints who traded up got Kool-Aid McKinstry. So how he started the run. And then, got there. Yeah, and then Kamari Lassiter, uh the kid out of Georgia goes to the Texans. And now we're at 43 with the with the Cardinals on the clock. So now the next time they'll be on the clock is 78. Do I have that correct? Yes. I believe so. Yeah. So they have that third round pick now. Um look, I mean Vic Fangio has to be a happy guy so far. I, I, well, I like Keely Ring Again, I like Keely Ringo. I like Eli Ricks. They are giving a lot of defensive players for Vic to work with. They are. They are. And to right. develop. I mean, that's key. Let's get a quickie in. So we know now uh, the, how he was not going to sit still. Yes. <laughs> in the first round and the second round, he trades up from 50 to 40. They got rid of one of their second rounders, but they now do have a third rounder. But they take Cooper DeGene. The, we're not sure exactly if he's going to be a corner or a safety, but most project him right now at least. As a cornerback at the NFL level, maybe a nickel corner, but he's also a return man and a gunner as well, can do a lot of different things. They've gone back to back defensive backs here with the first two picks in the 2024 draft. You want to react 215 592 9494. More on DeGene when we get back and what's happening elsewhere around the Eagles. We will do all of that. Elliot Shore Parks, Rob Ellis on this draft in house. WIP Sports Time is 802.